In this question, uh, you're given two grams of ice at minus 10 degrees, and it reaches the final temperature of 110 degrees, and you're asked to figure out to determine the change in enthalpy of this overall reaction as ice goes from minus 10 to 110 degrees. So what most students have problem with is, uh, is which uh, formula to use. So what I would suggest is label these sections on the graph where there's a ch temperature change as A, B, and C. And in A, B, and C, since there is a change in temperature, we would use the equation Q is equal to mc delta t and delta t being there's a change in temperature the final temperature minus the initial temperature so therefore at points a b and c we're going to use this formula q is equal to mc delta t and at points d and e where there's a phase change where at d where you go from ice to liquid water and then from at point e where you go from liquid water to vapor we use the formula Q is equal to N delta H. Um, before you start, what I would recommend is changing any mass into kilograms, so mass into kilograms, and your specific heat capacity of water or ice or uh, uh, vapor, make sure the units are converted into kilojoules, kilogram degrees Celsius, well, which is equi equivalent to joules, grams, degrees Celsius. Okay, so therefore, say for example, the specific capacity of water is 4.19 joules grams degrees Celsius, which is also equal to 4.19 kilojoules over kilogram degrees Celsius. And we will use this unit. And as you can see on the below, I set up the equation where Q is equal to the MC delta T of ice because ice goes from minus 10 to 0 degrees. NH of fusion of the ice as it's converted to water at point D. And MC delta T of the water as water goes from 0 degrees to 100 degrees. And N delta H of vaporization of liquid as it goes from liquid water to vapor as in point E. And MC delta T of vapor as vapor changes temperature from 100 to 110 degrees. Okay, so what we do is add those equation up to get the final answer. And uh, below, I substituted all the values, making sure that my mass, the grams, are converted to kilograms, and my specific capacity of ice water and vapor has been changed to kilojoules over kilogram degrees Celsius and here for N delta H I converted that mass of 2 kilogram of H2O into moles to get the final answer of where Q is equal to 6.10 kilojoule and you have to take note that the Q is a positive therefore um, this reaction is an endothermic reaction. Okay. Whereas if it was exothermic, it would be it would give uh, Q of a negative value. However, in this question, we have Q equals positive, six point one zero kilojoules. Therefore, when ice is heated from minus ten all the way to one hundred ten degrees Celsius, it is an endothermic reaction.